everyone. Today we will learn how to drive an active buzzer by a transistor with Raspberry Pi to make it beep. Here we can hear the buzzer beep. Buzzers can also be categorized as active buzzers and passive buzzers. When we place the pins of two buzzers upwards, we can see the one with green circuit board is a passive buzzer, while the one without circuit board instead of enclosing with black tape is an active buzzer. The difference between an active buzzer and an passive buzzer is that the former has built-in oscillating source. So it will make sounds as long as it is electrified. While the latter doesn't have oscillating source, so it will not beep if you use DC signals. Instead, you must use square waves whose frequencies are between 2K and 5K to drive it. The active buzzer is often more expensive than the passive because multiple built-in oscillating circuits exist. In this experiment, we use an active buzzer. We will make the GPIO of Raspberry Pi output no level by programming. The transistor will conduct because of current saturation, and the buzzer will make sound. But if we supply high level to the IO of Raspberry Pi, the transistor will cut off and the buzzer will not make sound. In this experiment, we need the following components. One active buzzer, one 1K resistor, one PMP transistor, and two bound wells. Now let's collect the circuit. Select the positive power of the buzzer to 5 volts. Place the PMP transistor on the breadboard. Collect the emitter of the transistor to active power of the buzzer. Collect the collector to ground and the base to GPIO0 of Raspberry Pi through a 1K ohm resistor. Next, let's write code. Log in your Raspberry Pi. Enter into test directory. Create a file named bip.c. Open this file with VIM. Now we start programming. We define beep pin as GPIO0. Now we start writing main function. First, we initialize variant pi library. Then we set GPIO0 as output. If we supply a low level, the buzzer will make sound. If we supply a high level, the buzzer will not make sound. Save and exit. Compare the code to generate an executable file. Press enter. Run the program. Press enter. Here we can hear the buzzer beep. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.